back to my channel. Today is a super chill video. I basically just wanted to do a video um, let you guys know how to enter my 40k giveaway. I hit 40k a little while ago now and I still haven't been able to give you guys a giveaway and I'm gonna have two different winners. Since I didn't want this video to be super boring, I decided to throw in a Snapchat Q&A. Um, but the first time I did a Q&A, I got so many questions that I had to split it into two videos. And with Snapchat, I don't know if you guys are shy or what, but I hardly got any questions. So I'm gonna answer the ones that I did get and then in the future I can always do some, you know, another Q&A. Q &A, or maybe you guys don't care I don't know so yeah let's do the questions first and then I will get into detail about how to enter the giveaway so let me go on to my snapchat and let me put my volume up because that's always like a pain in the butt that you can't replay so hey Chelsea I hope everything has been super awesome she's so but cute how has it been doing YouTube full-time and what does your boyfriend think about it that's a really good question because I really didn't talk to you guys much about like my whole doing YouTube full time thing or whatever. Um, I have been loving it. <laughs> I love being my own boss. I love getting up when I want to get up. I love doing the things that I want to do that I actually care about. It's There's nothing worse than going to a job and being like, oh, I hate being here. I could care less about anything about this company or anything about anything that I'm doing. Like it just sucks. So the fact that I can control my own schedule and can control my own, basically everything that I'm doing is the best part in the whole entire world. And of course, that I'm doing what I love. So I absolutely love doing YouTube full time. It is like such, it's the best. Like I can't even stress to you guys how amazing it is. I'm also a freelance makeup artist, so I also do that. I sometimes work at a salon when um, the owner needs me because I have a great, um, not reputation, I have a great relationship with her. So I'm also doing other things, it's not just YouTube, but YouTube is definitely my main priority. And it's just been going really well. I'm really happy so far. It hasn't even been a month, or if it has been a month, I, I think it's just about a month now, finally. And yeah, I just can't complain. I love bringing you guys three videos a week that I could never do that when I was working full time. I could barely do one. It was such a struggle. So it's amazing. I'm so happy. I think I'm making that clear. My boyfriend, I don't think, really understands it too, too much. I think he's like, well, if you can make a living off of this and you, you know, can support yourself off of this and everything like that, cool. But I think at the same time, he doesn't know if, and I don't even know if this is going to work long term. Like, he's obviously weary, and I'm being completely honest with you guys. Like, he doesn't understand completely how this whole thing works. And so he just is concerned and just making sure that if this is gonna work then great but if it's not like what's a backup plan and everything like that so even for me pot like me personally I'm giving myself basically a six month trial which I didn't tell you guys like this is kind of temporary in a way and if this does not work out for me then I am gonna have to make other arrangements like I plan on doing YouTube you know forever <laughs> like as long as I possibly can but as far as it being a full-time thing forever, I don't know if I can do that. Um, I'm very new still on YouTube, not as far as like years, but like I'm only at 40k, which is great, but it's not a lot compared to people who are doing YouTube full-time. But I'm kicking, like I kick my own ass all the time to like do my videos and I'm really like working hard to, you know, make my dreams a reality basically. So I'm hoping that everything will work out for the best. I'm really, really hoping for the best because literally like I will I rather make half the money I was making at my old job and be happy than make double the money and be miserable it just kind of is what means more to you and I just feel like we have one life to live I want to be happy and if I can be happy and make a career out of it amazing um, I don't need to be a millionaire but I would like to be able to support myself and everything so we will see what happens um, I know that was like a really long rant but I kind of wanted to touch on that anyway so I'm happy that she asked that question so let's go on to the next one okay my card was full so I just wiped that let's continue on with the next question hey Chelsea what's your favorite current foundation at the moment She's so cute. I love the Hello Kitty filter. I'm like dying for it. My current favorite foundation at the moment is probably between the Josie Moran one, which I'm wearing right now. It's a vibrancy one. I did a review on it. I'll have it up here on the screen so you guys can check it out if you want to. And then I also love the Infallible Pro Glow so much. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. I love how long it lasts. I love how natural it looks on the skin and it's glowy and it just makes your skin look so beautiful and it's like just a dream. Um, but they're very comparable, which I think I mentioned before. They're super comparable, so it's good to try like one and see if you like kind of the finish and then 
well, as far as one, I mean like the less expensive one, and then go for the higher end one if you even like how that looks on your skin. I'm also oily combination, and I really like both of them. There's, you know, pros and cons to each, but those two I would say are my like top right now, like obsessed, so, so in love. Of course, my Estee Lauder Double Wear will always be my like favorite foundation of all time, but those two are my current favorite right now. Hey Chelsea, love you girl. She is the best. Um, my question for you is, what is your craziest, most funniest childhood memory? Oh, I love that question. I love how different that one is. My craziest, funniest childhood memory. I have like all my crazy, funny memories from being a kid revolve around my cousin because she's like such a joke. Like, not a joke. <laughs> that sounded so mean. She's like a jokester. Like, she's always like. Like, I'll say something, and if it's funny to her, she'll laugh for, like, ten minutes, and it makes me laugh, and then we're just laughing forever. Um, what I'm thinking of is... <laughs> you guys are gonna think we're so weird. I don't even know how to explain this without sounding like a complete, like, weirdo, but... Back in the day, me and my cousin had a sleepover, and we were, like... Oh, my God. We were, like, in our rooms, like, dancing to music, and, like, chilling out. I don't know. We were just being weird, like... I don't even know how old we were. I was probably, like... 13 maybe maybe she was 14 15 I don't know maybe I don't even know if we were that old okay all I remember is this memory so we're dancing it's like 2 in the morning because we're having a sleepover and then we decided to put like the classical music station on again I do not know why and then I start like dancing and like pretending to do ballet and we we put on like a webcam not to like broadcast it but just to record us so like there was like the little webcam on top of the computer and it was like recording us be all weird and crazy and we always wish that we would have this video of us being weirdos so then a song comes on and I'm like this is the jam this is like the swan lake jam and then the camera like goes to fall and it captures my face because I was like <gasps> Literally because like if you're Spanish or if you have strict parents like you're not even supposed to be loud Like if they're sleeping, you're not supposed to make noise So we were already making noise, but like quietly in a way like we were dancing around and stuff But we were trying not to be like ridiculous. The music wasn't that loud or whatever. So I was so afraid my mother was gonna beat my ass So the camera goes to fall and I'm like <laughs> And I like go to catch it and it almost falls on the floor and the look on our faces because I remember her coming too to try to catch it because we didn't want it to fall on the floor and make noise It was probably the funniest thing that's like happened between us in a long time as for, like when we were kids and every time we see each other like we'll still be like remember the jam the Swan Lake jam <laughs> that would probably you guys are probably like But to me that was like the funniest thing that's ever happened to us because what were we doing? Why were we listening to classical music? Why were we dancing around at 2 o'clock in the morning? And why were we recording it on a webcam? And then I got two other questions via text, but they were about the same exact thing. Like the whole, like, what do you think about doing YouTube full time? And how has your life changed since doing it? I think I pretty much answered that in the first part of the Q&A. So, you know, that's really it for that. Okay, so on to the 40k giveaway. Yay! So for my 40k giveaway, I'm going to have two winners. I'm going to have one on Instagram and one on YouTube. So for the YouTube one, literally all you have to do is leave a comment down below on this um, video. Um, tell me, you know, whatever you want. Tell me a childhood story that you that was funny for you. I love to talk to you guys in the comments. It's so fun for me. I love when I get multiple comments on videos just because I like talking back and forth with you guys. It's like talking with friends. So I just like when you guys leave a comment. So leave a comment say anything you would like um, and give the video a thumbs up and just make sure that you're subscribed to my channel that's really it I try to keep it really simple for YouTube so that's the YouTube one as far as the Instagram one it's really easy also all you have to do is repost any of my pictures any one of my pictures on my Instagram tag me and hashtag Chelsea 40k giveaway I think that's pretty easy, right? Or should I put Chelsea H? Let's make it Chelsea H. So hashtag Chelsea H 40K giveaway, and I'll have that up on the screen somewhere. And that way I can at least look through those hashtags, but I need you guys to tag me also. Um, and that's really it. It could literally be any photo, like I said, so it's not a big deal at all. You guys are allowed to... Um, do multiple entries on Instagram so you can repost as many pictures as you want but on YouTube it kind of gets confusing in the comments to comment multiple times I feel like so I think I'm just gonna keep it to one time on YouTube and then as many times as you want on Instagram you can also enter both like if you win both girl you're lucky or boy whoever 
good for you. But you can definitely enter both. You can definitely do it on YouTube and then enter as many times as you want on Instagram. So there's gonna be the two prizes. What is this? There's gonna be two prizes. Um, just a bunch of makeup. And I showed you guys a sneak peek of this a little while ago on Snapchat. And I always tell you guys, if you're not following me on Snapchat, follow me. I do a lot of fun stuff. I just did a little haul with a dormy and a bunch of their active wear, which I'm wearing one of their sports bras right now. Super comfortable. So those are the rules for the giveaway. If you guys are confused by anything I just said, because <laughs> I might have confused myself, everything's going to be in the description box. It's going to be links and, you know, a detailed description of everything you need to know. So don't you worry. I hope that you guys enter and I can't wait to see who is going to win. Um, and I think that's it. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.